Welcome back. Great to have you here at Grim3D. Been a while since I've posted, but today I have something very special. You're gonna want to stick around. Make sure you see this whole video. I have an unboxing of an Atomstack A48 diode laser. They're pretty new. I got mine on pre-order. Let's get started. Well, here's the box. It's a pretty gigantic box. I got it up here on my desk. I don't really have enough camera space for this. I might have to switch to a tripod and get a shot from further away. I got an overhead cam, but uh, let's see how this works. I'm just gonna open this bad boy up. So here's the box. <clears throat> it's a pretty big box. Um, it pretty heavy too. It was marked as heavy with, uh, with the sh for the shipping, that kind of thing. It came not as fast as I would have liked, but like I said, I bought it on pre-order. And so um, I had to wait for it actually to get into the States and pass customs and all that kind of stuff. So it was nice to have one that early uh, and have one in hand ready to unbox for you guys to see. I actually got this in the kit. So over there, I've got boxes that I'll probably show you. I've got one with the, with the engraving grate, the protection grate. And then I've got one, I've got two actually with two different because I ordered those. Um, I've got two different rotary attachments to it. I've got one with the three jaw chuck and then I've got one that's kind of a platform rotary. Um, and then uh, I'll show you all of that. I just need everybody to know that I bought all this with my own money. This is not a deal for Adam Stack. I just wanted people to see that, you know, Grim 3D. We're trying to branch out into some laser engraving. My hope is that the laser engraving totally goes hand in hand with the 3D printing. So hopefully I'll be able to mesh the two together and bring you a lot of great videos on how I've meshed that together. But anyways, stop talking about that. Let's get this box open. I've been dying to see what's inside here. I hope I'm opening up the top because that would kind of suck if this was the bottom of the box. I think I'm just gonna get rid of these side panels so they're not in the way. And then we'll be able to all right, so here it is. Nice package pretty well. There we go. So the Atom Stack, the A A48, is a 48 watt um, diode laser, and it's built on a solid frame. It comes complete with the, the hood and the air assist, and I think the venting capabilities, I don't know if it's got any dryer hose in here, if I have to go buy that, and kind of the vent hose, but uh, it's supposed to be super high quality, super sturdy. Um, so there's the instruction manual. That's fantastic, we'll have to go through that later. This is just an unboxing. I'm not really gonna go into uh, the assembly of it so much. This right here is apparently the air assist. So that's a nice kind of a big beefy air assist unit. Um, should be fantastic. I can't wait to get that going. Uh, pair of uh, laser goggles here. So everybody should know that uh, if you're gonna run a laser, you have to use the goggles. Uh, it keeps your eyes from getting burnt. Like if you even catch a reflection of a laser beam in the eye on the retina, it burns it uh, permanently. So these come with laser goggles. I actually bought kind of a better pair of laser goggles as well, just so I could be super safe. Anyways, there's the goggles. Uh, here's bracket. Some air assist hose. So hopefully that's, and I'm sure that'll be enough. Here's a, kind of a goodie bag. There's some, oh, there's some ball end uh, Allen wrenches in there. Uh, some stick on feet, some other great stuff's in there. Looks great. Uh, then over here we have a power supply. That is a pretty beefy power supply. It says that it is going to put out 24 volts at, what was that, nine amps? So that's, pretty good size power supply. 
and then your standard power cord. This right here is the, I believe, so I'm totally new to lasers, but I believe this is the device that allows you to aim or basically aim your laser. Like it, it makes sure that your laser head is the right distance from what you're cutting. Uh, and it seems to have a little uh, stepper motor in there, so that might be able to automatically aim itself. That'd be awesome. Some cords, some more cabling, a USB A to USB C cord right there. Oh, there's your uh, your plate for deciding how far away to um, engrave or cut. So you want to be eight millimeters away from your work to engrave, and four millimeters away to cut is what that says. So that's pretty much a staple. And then right here is the heart of the whole beast. This is a 48 watt. Let's get that out of there. This is a 48 watt diode laser. Notice that I can switch it from 24 to 48 watt. That's pretty awesome. I didn't think that that was gonna come on this particular model because I think that switch was advertised for their more professional model, not the A series. I forget what their professional model series is, but that uh, switch from 48 to 24 is awesome. I like that because with the lower power, you can get uh, more accuracy, which is awesome. Cleaner lines, smaller lines, that kind of stuff. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Oh, no wonder that wouldn't come out. This is a, it did say that this is a unibody frame. Like it's a one frame. I believe it's made out of steel or maybe aluminum. I don't know, probably aluminum. It's pretty, it's not heavy enough, I don't think for steel. But I got a magnet right here, let's check it. Here's my little magnet action. The rails are steel, that rail is steel. So that's kind of interesting. It's already got the wires on the side here in a cable chain and your hose coming in for your air assist, ready to roll. Sweet. Looks like they've thought of quite a bit of what needs to happen here. This looks like a really decent machine. All right, let's get this out of the way. Maybe we'll bring that on camera back in a minute. Put that behind me. As you notice, I don't really have a really big workshop. This is kind of my office. I'm hoping the laser works here. If the laser doesn't work here, I've got other places I could put it, but for now, um, I'd really like it to just work here. All right, what do we got? Oh, this is the box that it comes with. So this, I think, is for, for aiming your camera because it comes with a camera built in to the enclosure and then how to build the enclosures right here. Adam stack instructions for the enclosure. So then here we've got some 3M tape. There's just some silica gel, uh, hose clamp here for the, I'm sure that's for the dryer hose and it does apparently come with some dryer hose. So that'll be cool. It probably won't be enough for where I want to put it, uh, but my win my window that I'm gonna vent it in is uh, not as close as I'd like it to be, to tell you the truth. Some more cabling. I'm sure that'll make sense when I get the instructions. None of the cables have been the same, so it should be pretty easy to get them where they belong. Bunch of screws, some more Allen wrenches. Uh, and then there's some uh, Little screwdriver in there. I don't really need the screwdriver. I got plenty of screwdrivers. Lots of heavy duty foam in this packing. In fact, I'm filling up my room with foam over there. Gonna have to take care of that soon. All right, so here's the first part of the enclosure. This has got the vent on it. This is apparently the back or what they, what they think should be the back. 
So it's got a fan built into it. The wire that is on it is connected to something. Oh, there we go. It was just twisted up in there. So anyways, there's a fan, vent fan on there. Um, cabling, all that. I'm not gonna pull this protective film off yet. I'll pull that off when I get ready to build, which is gonna be a completely different video. This is just unboxing. This I think is probably the lid part. I don't know, these are aluminum corners here. This is, uh, this orangish plexi, is, I'm sure, is um, laser resistant, so the laser can't make it out of there. So between this protection here and the laser goggles, I should be pretty well covered. Uh, so there's another piece of the enclosure. Two more sides, there's one side. Once again, nice aluminum corner braces. They're threaded, so there's no, there would be screws, but not any nuts, because they're threaded in there. That's very nice, a good idea. So the other side, this one, this side has some wiring in it. I don't have to actually run wires or thread wires myself or tape wires or, or anything. It'd be awesome. All right, another layer of foam. I wonder if you could laser cut that foam. Maybe make that into something. I'd have to check and see if it's super toxic. Anyways, this right here is the lid. And you know it's the lid because it's the one that comes with the camera attached. So that's a camera right there. So the lid would go this direction and the camera will look down and that'll help you actually aim your laser at whatever, you know, once you get it calibrated at whatever you've got on the bed to cut. So that's, that's one of the big reasons I bought uh, this A48. I think it's very comprehensive and it, it's not the kind of laser where you buy the, the base piece and then you have to keep buying and buying and buying and buying. I mean, I did get a kit with the, the protective lattice, I forget what they call it, that goes underneath so you don't burn through your table or light your table on fire. And I did really, really want those rotary attachments to do, because I really want to do a bunch of rotary stuff. So, but the fact that this comes with the camera and the case and the vent and the whole nine yards, perfect. I'm, I'm super excited about that. It was worth waiting to purchase this um, and get it on a pre-sale. All right, there should be nothing else in here. I got some heavy duty cardboard corners. And since the laser like this does not come with a bottom, there's no plexiglass for the bottom. The bottom is where you put your your protective lattice or bottom is where you're going to put the you know piece you're going to engrave on or the board or whatever uh, you can actually get feet to go underneath to raise up the whole laser if you need to i'm just seriously hoping that my plans for where i'm going to put this are actually going to work but anyways there you have it uh, the unboxing of the atom stack a48 laser purchased on pre-sale I, I, I bought this like four months ago Okay, and I just barely got it uh, a few weeks ago. I did go on vacation, so it's been sitting in my hallway for a while, but that's it for this episode of Grim 3D. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you want to leave me comments or if you have any questions, feel free, just keep them civil. Make sure you stay tuned. Ring that bell so you never miss an episode. We got the laser, we've got Mark IVs, we've got all kinds of stuff going. I got a new palette. Stay tuned for all of those, and we will see you out there.